Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here, bringing you another video. So we're back for some more Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 9 here today. Last episode was absolutely fantastic. We got to see Itadori pop off on that Locust guy. I mean, was there any doubt that Itadori was gonna win? I mean, that Locust guy really wasn't clever. <laughs> anyway, he beat his ass, and then we moved over to Gojo, who's currently taking on Jogo, Hanami, and Chozo. And uh, man, Geto has really meticulously planned out this whole scenario, man. He's preventing Gojo from fully using his power by involving civilians in the area, you know, in the train station there. So Gojo can't even use his domain expansion, Infinite Void. Like, they've really planned this out. And Geto intends to have Jogo, Hanami, and Chozo, you know, hold off Gojo for about 20 minutes, you know, um, as he, I guess, prepares the prison realm that they talked about, you know, because I guess the plan still is to seal him, you know, so. But towards the end of the episode, I mean, Gojo was like, I'm really shocked that you thought this was enough to beat me, bro. And then he took off, he took off the blindfold. So I, he doesn't seem worried, you know, so I'm here to see how this is all going to go. I'm excited. Cannot wait. So I've spoken enough, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's jump right in. Three, two, one, go. It says here, what do you think of Satoru Gojo? I think he's really funny and very strong. Technically. <laughs> he's an idiot, wow. Man, I feel like they're setting us up for pain having Itadori and the crew say all these things, man. But let's see how this goes. Yo! Damn! He's already popped off? Yo, this is the part from the trailer. Yo, I'ma need context, bro. What the heck happened? Episode 33, Shibuya Incident Gate Open. Okay, we're going back. Okay, good. I'ma need context to see how Gojo got to that position, man. He was looking tired. Oh, he's talking to Hanami? Damn. Yo. <laughs> Woo, bro, let's go. Yo. He just did. You're done. What? He dodged Hanami's kick? Damn, is he breaking Jogo's arm? Oh! Not even breaking, he pulled off his arm. Damn! Ooh! Yo! A misdirection? Bro, he just threw Jogo. <laughs> Damn. No wonder he's able to touch Jogo. Uh oh. Bro, they're literally upside down. That's really cool. Or sideways, rather. Uh oh. Hanami's no longer holding back. Okay. Bro, Gojo. Oh, is he baiting? He's baiting Hanami. Damn! Oh, you're done. Uh-oh. Yo! Bro, is that Chozo? Damn, he cut those people's heads off! Yeah, yes he is. D Yo, this battle is crazy. The stronger he has to maintain, I see. Asparagus. <laughs> yo, damn, yo. 
The force he's using, damn! Nah, Hanami's about to become a pancake, bro. Look at Gojo. Yo! He doesn't even care about the civilians. Is Hanami done? Did he just exercise Hanami? No way. Well, rest in peace, Hanami. Bro, J Gojo didn't even care about Jogo's threat. There's nothing that can't be sealed in the prison room, okay? For one minute? Four meters in one minute, I see. What is this game called? Let me know in the comment section. I've seen it somewhere before. He doesn't want to have to be the one to fight Gojo. Boy, is he going to run away? Bro, Gojo is on demon time. What the hell? Yo. Bro, I'm sure, I'm sure people are wondering, what the heck, bro? Why am I being thrown by something invisible? Jogo, you're done. <laughs> He's gonna kill him? Wow. Yo, that guy's wearing a Naruto jacket. That's pretty fire. Nah, Chozo. Then he can catch Jogo, I see. He can't save everyone in this scenario. I see. No wonder he didn't care about Jogo threatening those civilians. Has it been 20 minutes yet? Ghetto's just chilling. Bro. Much more on edge, okay. What? Mahito. Mahito. His transfiguration. Wait! Those people he turned Mahito is bringing back up! Mahito is bringing back up, bro! No! No wonder in the beginning Gojo was exercising people or killing people. Damn! Nah, that is messed up. Maito is insane. No wonder Gojo was a little bit exhausted in the beginning. There he is. This guy, bro. Wow. Wow. That is messed up. Anami's dead. Yes. Bro, this is this this episode is crazy. It is crazy. All right, let's see what Gojo is going to do. Bro, he's skateboarding on one, surfing. Damn. Yep, batch face. Yes, sir. Nice dodge. Really? There are too many of them? What the hell is that? They brought more? Oh, Solm. Yo! Double team attack? Chozo and Mahito? Oh my god! Damn! Haha, <laughs> you thought, Jogo. Oh? Bro, this is chaos, man! What? Of cold logic? Then he'll start acting only on emotion. He's gonna be angry. So they're baiting him to use his domain expansion. Otherwise, he'll kill everybody. Bro, the music is so good. If I was Gojo, I'd do it. 
I'd release my domain. But he's a better man than I am. He's doing it. Oh my God. Bro, that guy's just like the Joker, I swear, man. These Halloween costumes are awesome. He actually did it. Jogo is getting flashbacks. <laughs> Whoa! Two tenths of a second? Bro, is he going around killing all the cursed spirits? Purely on instinct? Oh my god! Wow! Look at how fast he's moving! He's killing all of the core spirits! Yo! Right? Yo, look at him go with the Naruto run! God damn, Gojo! Yo! Now he must be moving at light speed, bro. Look how fast he's moving. They were able to return to society two months later. I see. All the information from his infinite void flowing into them. But like she said, they were able to return to society two months later. Look at Gojo, he's on demon time. I see, could we awaken? On the transfigured humans, I see. Yo. He's going after every single one of them. Nah, that is crazy. And now, makes sense how we're, why we're back here. How the episode started and why he was so exhausted. Bro, two tenths of a second. That is crazy, man. 1,000 transfigured humans. 299 seconds, bro. That's crazy. Yo. All the remaining humans are like, bro, what am I seeing in this infinite void? They cannot even comprehend all the information that has gone into them because of his infinite void. Damn, Gojo. Uh-oh. Is that it? Kind of looks like the Tesseract, because it's square. Oh, no. The prison realm. Crap. Oh, no. So that's it, the, the, the eye we see in the opening. So that's the prison room? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the first time they're meeting. In the present. Oh, my God. It actually is ghetto, right? Bro, all the memories are flashing back. Oh, bro, the music. Oh, my God. No! It got him. Oh, no. But... His soul is... Is it actually ghetto or... Oh, wait, wait, what? What the hell? What the hell is that? His brain has a mouth! So he, he inhabited ghetto's dead body? Oh, no. So then what the hell is this guy? Eventually? A thousand years, bro! You, my boy, we need you to back. You don't see any appeal? 
Oh, you just wait. But he's still OP, though. Bro, you better take those words back about my boy Utah. I can't believe this. It's gonna end, isn't it? Oh. Wait, what? Is that Mechamaru? The... Oh my god, bro, that had to be Mechamaru. The earpiece looked like Mechamaru. Oh. Bro, this episode was just an entire roller coaster of emotions, bro. I don't even know where to start. First of all, okay, was that Mechamaru? Because the earpiece kind of looked like Mechamaru, so maybe Mechamaru made it for everybody before Maito got to him, you know? And that was Nanami talking, you know? Maybe just let me know in the comment section, because that, that part a little bit confused me. They, they kind of sound similar in a sense, you know? But anyway, Kenjiro Suda and uh, Inosuke's voice actor, I guess. Anyway, bro. We finally found out that Go Ghetto actually is dead and whatever the hell that thing is in his brain has been controlling his dead body this entire time, which is absolutely insane to me. And first of all, the way he was talking down to my boy Utah, oh, bro, I can't believe it. They actually did it. They actually sealed Gojo. I mean, honestly, for that one minute that, you know, Ghetto was talking about or whatever the hell that guy is, um... He was the only one who could appear in front of Gojo and make his mind a little fuzzy, you know, by, of course, appearing as his best friend, you know, because otherwise that wouldn't have worked. That wouldn't work because, I mean, seeing Ghetto, you know, Gojo, it really messed him up, you know. So in that one minute, he was like, you know, thinking about all the scenarios. Who are you? What the hell is this? Is this a fake? Is it like, you know, and all that time. And then the seal got to him, you know, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this, bro. Yo, but I must say my boy. He absolutely popped off in 299 seconds. He he demolished 1,000 transfigured humans, bro. That is absolutely insane. And in that moment, he also activated his infinite void domain expansion, you know. And, you know, to some extent, you know, like in that time, he made sure to do it as quickly as he could. Because all the information that was, you know, going through all the civilians around. I mean, the narrator did say that they'd be able to go back into the society in like two months or something, you know. Because all that information is crazy, you know. But man, he absolutely popped off, bro. But now that he's been sealed, like, bro, the only other person I can think of that we need right now, you know, who's, I mean... I'd say probably the second strongest is Utah. Like as much as Ghetto was talking down about him, you know, down to him like that, talking about, oh, you know, all he does is do copies of curses or blah, 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 and all that kind of curse techniques rather. Bro, bro. Anyway, Utah, we need you because now things are dire. Things are really, the strongest Jujutsu Sorcerer has just been sealed, bro. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Honestly, you know? God damn! But anyway, also rest in peace to Hanami because at least we took one of their one of their guys down. Yo, the way Gojo did it too was so savage, man. Oh, yo. Anyway, guys, this episode was insane. The, I I now understand why you guys were hyping up Shibuya like this. Like, bro, it's just nonstop action. Like, it just it just keeps on getting crazier and crazier. I don't know how it'll. Honestly, this has to be the craziest episode that we've seen so far. I don't know how it'll get even more crazier from here, to be honest with you. But I'm here to watch. I'm here to experience it with you guys. And that's all I have to say. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. If you enjoyed my reaction to this particular episode, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Really does help out a lot. Also, give it your thumbs up for the hype of Jujutsu Kaisen. This episode was insane. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my few reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. You can also feel free to follow me on all my social media, Twitter and Instagram. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video. You can also feel free to join our Discord. Link to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well. You can also feel free to become a Patreon or a channel member by clicking the link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy and you always get a shout out in every single one of my videos but until then guys please do me a favor take care of each other peace out and i'll see you guys next time